You know, I want to say happy holidays. You know, we're hoping everybody have a great Merry Christmas and a good Happy New Year. Um, this is your boy Z, and I'm out here and back in my parents' house in Mississippi. You know, I'm visiting my my father who was very, 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 very sick. Okay, and um, the man has not only Crohn's disease, he also has uh, pancreatic cancer. Okay, so you know he's very, very ill. So um, that's why I came down to see him because tomorrow's not promised. You know, we're only given a certain amount of time on this earth. So for the ones you really love, you got to come down here and see him while you still got the chance. But I'm here to give my testimony on how I beat COVID-19. And I'm going to need everybody to understand what I'm getting ready to tell you. Okay, because COVID, like, it's a lot. Of this this COVID-19 is nothing really to fear. All right, because I spoke my healing into existence because I knew I didn't have it. So, yeah, your boy uh, Z was diagnosed um, at the beginning of this month a few weeks ago. And um, that sent me home. I couldn't even work anymore. They sent me home to quarantine. Now, I, of course, uh, got an appointment to be retested because I knew I didn't have it. All right. And I didn't I didn't have no symptoms. I didn't have a runny nose. I wasn't coughing. I didn't have a, little, a loss of taste. You know, I didn't have no high fever. None of that was happening. In any, any one of my jobs that I was working in, I was always tested and showed no signs. I mean, I understand that it's the uh, winter time, so yeah, people do come down under the weather. You do catch colds, but a cold is different from COVID. So I got retested that Saturday. I got tested on a Tuesday, right? I got my test results two days later. They told me I was positive, so I retested at another medical facility. On Saturday, only to find out that following Monday, come to find out, for one, the results I got back were negative on my second test. But then, two, I talked to the, uh, one of the head uh, nurses or one of the head uh, managers of the clinic that originally gave me the test. And the man told me their machines are not always right. And that they went back to that same place that I was working at and retested, which... My, um, the company I was working for didn't tell me they was they didn't inform me that they took another test, so I lost a lot of time, a lot of hours on that. But you know I'm not gonna worry about that because God is gonna take care of everything. There's a reason for it behind everything you do in life. That's what I believe in. I'm a strong believer in it. But I'm just here to let you know that I beat COVID-19 due to me manifesting my healing. Because the scripture says, "Acts and it shall be given unto you." You know God is a healer. He can heal anybody. He heals the sick. So if you ask God for what you want, he, he will give it to you. But you got to believe by faith. So this is just my testimony. Right? I'm COVID-19 free. I don't have none of this coronavirus. None of it is in my body. So if you're sick, speak by faith in Jesus' name. And I got down my knees every day and night. The moment they told me I was positive, I got down my knees asking God, like, Lord, I'm healed in Jesus' name. I don't have this disease. I don't have this virus. So for anybody who's going through right now, if you're sick or you know somebody that's sick, speak that into existence. Speak healing into their body. Because God can heal them. I believe God can heal my father right now. You know, my father who is 67 years old, I believe the Lord could bless him to be healed. And that man is going through a lot of pain. He can, I believe the Lord could bless him to get a surgery, he get a hip replacement, he get everything he needs. You know, say the Lord could heal him of this, this coronavirus and this, um, this cancer he has. That's my strong faith in, my, in the God I believe in. And if it's his time to pass on, it's just his time. Because he's, he's tired of being in pain. And he originally didn't want to go to the hospital, but he had to get surgery now because he's trying to at least be healed before Christmas time. He's looking to only be in there a day. But, I mean, if they have to keep him longer, then so be it. But, you know, I have faith in my God. So anybody listening to this video, yeah, have faith. And even if you don't have faith in Jesus and the one I'm serving, you know, again, man, have faith in something. But no, God can heal anybody. And again, understand that COVID-19 is bad. A lot of people have lost a lot of their loved ones. Okay, you might, people have might have, people watch this video might have lost their moms or pops. You might have lost a brother, sister. I understand that. You know, I got a friend right now who's losing their own, who's lost their relatives. It's bad right now, but I'm here to tell you that, man, God is, God is real, man. He loves you and he's a forgiving God and he loves God, but he can heal anything. It's, nothing, it's not a thing on this earth he can't do. God says, give me something that's impossible that I can't do. Give me something that's impossible. 
Okay, remember, any two touching agreement, it shall be done. But I'm just here to let y'all know that, man, things are going to be all right. All right. And I know everybody's flipping out over this vaccine. I'm going to say this right now, too. Like, rather than, and I've said this on my social media, I'm going to say it right now for my YouTube audience. Uh, but this vaccine really is the mark of the beast. Just know if it's the mark of the beast, it has to be given to you by Satan himself. That means you have to be left behind. The rapture has already taken place. And the devil is down here calling himself Jesus. It's forced you to take it. That vaccine is actually volunteer. It's not mandatory. All right. The, um, the employees, the companies have not basically forced that on any employer. Because as of right now, there are people who are healed from COVID. I mean, I got my test results. So I could prove to them and show them I don't need to take no vaccine. And I'm a, I'm a believer, okay, if you already healed of COVID-19, you don't have it. Why should you take the vaccine? And already on um, Sydney, Australia, for those of you who haven't um, heard the news recently, Australia has denied taking that vaccine. They don't want to take the vaccine because there's been too many tests that have came up false. I told you all my test. My test, the first test where I got tested with COVID-19 was fake. It was false. It was a false positive. It wasn't even true. I never did have COVID-19 to begin with. So I never did have COVID-19 to begin with. I would advise if you get tested the first time, always get tested the second time and get a second opinion. Because I found out through a, a doctor himself, the head doctor of the clinic that originally tested me, he told me his machines could come out false. All right. And plus, the first time they test me through my saliva, the second time they test me through your nostrils, through your nose. That's where you're supposed to take it. So it's how it's how you're supposed to take it too. That also matters. So you know, I'm just here to tell y'all, man. There's there's hope. Okay, you just gotta keep your heads up, right? Stay positive. Because again, I understand that this year alone has been bad. This 2020 has been the weirdest year ever. People have lost their jobs. You know, people have lost their houses. There's a lot of people that are struggling out there. Because the virus, the pandemic, has cost a lot of famine. You know, it's, it's cost a lot of um, business to slow down. And even the stimulus check, we only will be getting six hundred. We're not getting twelve hundred no more. We only will be getting six hundred. That ain't even barely enough to even cover up uh, two bills. That's only enough to cover one bill. People got a mortgage. They got rent due. People got car notes and student loans due. That ain't enough. But God is able, man. He's worthy to be. He's worthy, and He can do anything for you as long as you believe. You know I me. Mean? I'm a. I'm a strong believer myself. So I'm just here to give, shed some light, to give hope to any one of my subscribers that's listening to this video. I was to say I love y'all so much. Thank you for supporting this channel over the last four years that I've been on YouTube. But right now, you know, my my dad, my father is going through it right now. He's in a lot of pain. But you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna keep hope alive. I'm a. Keep praying for him. I'm not going to give up on him at all. That's why I'm down here. Because normally I'll be in California right now. But I figure you got to honor both of your parents. And, uh, you know, my mom being one. Of the, I haven't spent Christmas with my mom in a very long time. So this is the best time to do it. You know, I only pray that the rest of my brothers and sisters can come down here too. You know, everybody got their lives. You know, everybody's grown now. And most of my brothers and sisters got kids already. They got other family. That's understandable. I mean, you only get one set of biological parents in this world, right? You only, you only, you only gonna get really one, one moms and pops. So I mean, it's best to see them while they still here. This is gonna come a time where I myself gonna get old of age, and I might start having health problems. I want somebody to be there for me. So what you do unto others, do unto others what you want done to you, right? I do, I am a strong believer in karma. Okay, it's like the Bible says, you reap what you sow. What well, God says, you reap what you sow, right? What you sow, so shall you reapeth. All right. So if you get memory, so it's just going to come a time when you're going to get in your 60s or 70s or 50s. And then wherever you get diagnosed with, remember, you're going to want somebody to be there for you and to help you. So I made it my uh, one of my passions, one of my goals is to basically look after the sick. Anyone in my family that's sick of a need, I make sure I try to go out and see and visit them. That's just for me. Because I want somebody to do the same for me. I would want my kids, some of my brothers, sisters, my cousins, or whoever else that, you know, uh, whoever else, I would want them to look out for me if I'm in need. And if I'm, 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 I'm real sick and in pain. Okay? You know, I don't want to be one of those type of people that just die alone, sick in the hospital bed with nobody to see me or nobody to visit me. I'm not trying to have that. No, I'm trying to leave out of here with a good note. All right? 
And again, man, like if 2020 has taught me anything, it's again, is that life is precious. And time is all time is of the essence. You know, you got to enjoy life while you're still down here. So while I'm down here, I, I try to make every day is I try to live every day up to the fullest. I live every day like it's my last. Because, yeah, I could be on this video now, but then the next day I could be dead and gone. You know, ain't no telling what God got planned you know, in store for this uh, country or this world. You know, God could even come back any time. Right. And the rapture could already be taking place. So. Again, man, I only ask that everybody makes peace with who they are. Right? And, you know, I pray God's forgiveness to whoever did anything wrong for me. And if I did something wrong to you, I ask God to forgive me and forgive me of my sins. But again, man, this is just for somebody who needs to hear this video because I understand, man, this year's been rough. There have been people that, and even athletes and celebrities have been losing family. Okay? Like, it's been rough, man. Everybody's been losing somebody. You know, I got a homegirl right now that just lost her aunt, um, then lost one of her grandma, her grandparents, and she just lost her older brother now. And she's really in pain. She's going through it. She lost her boyfriend four years ago, so she's really going through it right now. So for anybody that's in that situation, as my homegirl, again, just let you know I'm here for you. And I will continue to pray and support you. But I'm just letting you know with me right now, yeah, I'm, I'm out here, in, I'm back out here in Clinton, Mississippi. I'm out here visiting my my folks for Christmas, you know, shouts out to my California family and my homies and homegirls and my friends out there. You know, I love y'all, but I got to be down here. This is something I got to do because just in case this is the last Christmas I spend with my dad, at least I got a chance to see him one last time. You know, because again, like he, the, the condition he's in is this very bad. You know, I know God can heal him, but if it's, if it's God's time to call him in, you know, he's, um, I pray that he's made it to heaven. I pray that he's made peace with God and he's, um, forgiven. And I pray that he's saved and that he gets to be in, he gets to spend everlasting life with the Lord. But if this is his last Christmas, at least I can say that I actually went to go see him. So again, I advise anybody, young and old, if you have any loved ones, make sure you see them. Make sure you tell them you love them. Make sure you call them, right? Check them on people you care about. Because, again, we're only going to be on this earth for a certain amount of time. Right? We're not promised a long life. Nobody's going to live forever. Nobody's going to live for, nobody's guaranteed to even live 50 years. You know, let alone living, um, let alone living 33, 34, 35. There's people that's passed on at young ages. And I, for one, can tell you, I lost friends who I grew up with young age, passed on. And sometimes they don't even got to be from the streets. No, because people do do get diseases, man. Heart failure, all kinds of things. Heart attacks, these things happen. Look how we lost Chadwick Bosman, right? We lost him. We lost Kobe Bryant. We just lost Tiny Lesnar. And I'm getting ready to do a Friday video because I believe that um, last Friday can come out. Q can really do another Friday. It's very possible. And I think when I get back home, I get back to California, I'm going to make that video. But again, look how we just lost him. He was 62. He wasn't even real old. I mean, Chadwick was barely was still in his early 40s. That Chadwick wasn't even 50 years old yet. And then my, uh, the quarterback of my football team, the Dallas Cowboys, Dak just lost his older brother just this year. So, again, man, it, it's been bad on everybody. You know, Carl Anthony Towns, he just lost his mama, right? And like I said, I got family and I got friends who lost, their, who lost some of their people. So, again, I understand y'all pain. But even these vaccines, there's nothing to worry about. Just know everything is in God's hands. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. See, if you let the fear get to you and you keep dwelling on the fear and you play that in your mind, in your head, you're, you're, you're going to be living in fear your whole life. You can't be, you can't be doing that. Because remember, next year is a different year. So in 2021, you can start over again. Anytime January 1st hits, it's a new year. Remember, what happened this year is in the past. So when 2020 comes around, Whatever happened in 2020, I'm not going to go into 2021 with the same mindset no more. Because I know 2020 is going to be in the past. It's over now. We'll no longer officially go back to 2020 after January 1st. So y'all got to have that mindset. It's the, you got to move on. Okay? Yeah, again, 2020 was bad. I understand that. But I and myself, I'm looking for God to bless me to have 2021 be a much better year. I pray that 2021 be a year that we all recover. Everybody recovers from their damages and the losses. 
and everybody's able to recuperate and we get things back to normal. And I pray that Biden and Kamala, they do their jobs as presidents like they're supposed to do and they get this country back on track. They are our presidents now. You know, Trump is no longer on there. I'm not going to worry about Trump. Right. He's past, he's 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 in the past now. His presidency is gone now. We got a new president in there. So even though I didn't vote for them, I got to still they, they got I got to pray they do their jobs correctly. And that's the reality I live in. No, again, I've told you all this many times on the channel. I don't live in no fake reality. I don't let the Illuminati and the Freemasons scare me. These these secret societies, people so worry about, they don't scare me. They don't worry me because I serve an almighty God. It's nothing the devil could throw at me that can affect me and my blessing. I don't let the devil uh, put fear in my brain. No, that's not what I'm focused on. And I advise whoever listens to this video, you do the same. Don't let fear come at you. Because once you fear, the devil already has you. Even with these vaccines. And if you got to take them, if you don't have to take them, you don't have to take them. If you have to take them, then so be it. Just know that the Lord sees and understands everything. Okay? And again, the vaccines are not the mark of the beast. Okay? They might not even be that v, that, uh, that RFID chip. Whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. Okay, but just know that, just understand that there is a God above us, which I believe in. And whatever happens is going to happen. Just know it's in the Lord's hands. And I know whatever happens to me, at least I told and I informed everybody of the truth. At least I know if I pass out, I'm going to heaven. And I'm going to be with my other relatives and my other friends is up there. All right. But that's just it, man. I just want to let y'all know what's going on with me on my behalf. You know, keep me and my family in your prayers. You know, I'm down here visiting my uh, my dad. You know, I'm down here visiting my pops. And man, we're up here with my mom. I'm down here in Mississippi. I'm finna see my Mississippi family. And I haven't spent Christmas with them since I was three years old. Right? Because I've been all I've been in California most of my life. You know, I've been um I mean, don't get me wrong, I've been back and forth in Mississippi. We went here to there, but uh, you know, I ain't been I ain't like I said, I've not spent Christmas with them in a long time. I was always spending Christmas with my dad's side of the family. Because, you know, my um, I was always spending Christmas with my other relatives up in California. But, um, yeah, man, I, 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 this, is the, this is the time where I have to see my, um, I got to see my pops in this time of need. So that's what I mean. I, and this is one of the reasons why I've been making much videos because I've been very, very busy with other things. You know, and, and things down here have been kind of rough. But anyways, folks, man, that's just the video I want to let y'all know. Um. If I have, if I get any updates, I'll, I'll make another video. But again, I just want to say, man, we wish everybody a happy and safe Christmas. And may you have a great New Year's Eve. And may your 2021 be way better. And may you be blessed in 2021 than you was this current year. I pray everybody has a start off 2021 brand new, ready to go, ready to start over, and ready to get your life back together. Y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned. And I will see you real soon.